Uh, you're here early. I haven't even opened the shop yet. Wait, has Kiwara left already? Yep, with the special patrol. Bright and early. Did everything go all right on the road? I believe so. The patrol makes for quite the entourage. The way they marched forward with Kiralra in the center, you'd think she was some sort of VIP. For the second leg, the Spina also came with a pretty large group, led by Navia herself. They took care to clear the path beforehand as well. Kiralra won't so much as step on a single stray rock on her journey. I even heard that Navia decided out of the blue to make a batch of macarons as a going-away gift for Kiralra. An excellent souvenir to remember Fontaine by, I'd say. Sounds like Navia really got into it. My thoughts exactly. She even lamented the fact that she didn't have time to prepare something even fancier. I'm pretty sure she can't wait for another escort opportunity to come her way. You know, now that you mention Navia, Paimon thinks the two of you are actually pretty similar. You say what you mean, and when you have an idea, you really hit the ground running. I suppose that's why we're such good friends. Navia has a certain resilience about her. It's part of who she is. No matter what comes her way, she never bows down in the face of adversity. That sort of determination and courage is something I really admire. That same spirit is the true vision of my brand. When she first mentioned commissioning an outfit for my boutique, well, I'm sure you can imagine my excitement. It's like finding the perfect brand ambassador, huh? Indeed. Customers pay attention not just to the clothes, but also to the figures in society who wear said clothes. People like to copy the styles of those they look up to. Huh. And here Paimon thought all that mattered was for the clothes to look cute. Fashion is about more than just looks, my dear. Especially if you've got your sights set on a market the size of that. Hmm. Well, would you look at the time? Oh, yeah. Come on, let's get down to business. We're here to model. Indeed. Give me a moment while I go retrieve some fabrics and sample outfits. Why don't you help me set up the shop displays in the meantime? Set them up? Uh, how exactly? Just carefully organize the ready-to-wear clothes with an eye toward their types and styles. This way, we can guarantee that the customers will see something different every day. Whoa, there sure is a lot that goes into running a store. Well then, I'll leave the displays to you. Please organize the clothes with an eye towards their types and styles. I'm counting on you. Anyway, let's move on to the real task at hand. Over here, stand still. I'll take your measurements first. Um, excuse me, Miss Chiori. Oh, good morning, Leanne. How have you been recently? Uh, not too bad. Your gown will be ready next week, so there's no need to worry about missing the ball. Or did you come here today because you'd like to make a new request, perhaps? Oh, no, nothing like that, Miss Chiori. To be honest, I came here today to cancel my order for that gown. Uh, <laughs> cancel your order? Uh, but you can keep the deposit, of course. I know you can't return any materials you've already used. Don't worry about the materials. I'm more concerned about you. Did something happen, Leanne? Have your plans changed? Um... It's all right. I'm not trying to make things difficult for you. I'll take note of the cancellation. Thank you. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. Just let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Is it just Paimon, or was she acting a bit strange just now? Wonder why she wouldn't tell us why she was canceling her order. It's not a big deal. These things happen every once in a while. A family emergency, an important payday falling through, a lover's quarrel, no one to take you to the ball. I've pretty much heard it all. Judging from the look on her face, something's keeping her from revealing the truth to us. It's best not to pry. Well, guess this means you'll have more time to work on Fashion Week, right? That's true. Come, let's pick up where we left off. Is Miss Chiori in? 
I am. How can I help you? Um, I'd like to return this item. Oh, could I ask why? It's just, um, not to my liking. You said I could get a refund if I wasn't satisfied, so that's why I'm here. Is there something about it that didn't meet your expectations? Are the sleeves too short, or is the color too dark? I can always make those adjustments for you. No, oh, no need. You don't have to concern yourself with that. I'd just like that refund, please. And I'd be happy to process that for you. If you could just tell me the cause of your dissatisfaction. Is Tiori here? I'd like to return my outfit. Another one? Is there some sort of new calamity coming that I haven't heard about? Another flood? Or an apocalypse, maybe? What does the prophecy say this time? You'll be spared if you get rid of all your clothes? Surely the entire population of Fontaine didn't convene and pick this one day to come and return my clothes. What is going on? Uh, <laughs> what kind of rags are you trying to sell us, huh? The way I see it, this shop is nothing more than a black market front run by a bunch of dirty criminals. Please calm down, sir. Uh, what is he talking about? Haven't you heard? Chioria Boutique has been exposed for having close ties with criminals. It's all over the papers. And just who is it that dares to throw that accusation around? Well, you tell us. The fabrics you've got here, they're all sourced from underground factories, aren't they? I've been transparent about my materials from the very beginning. I've already proved there's nothing wrong with them. If a little hearsay and baseless slander are enough to convince you, then by all means, go ahead and hand over your garments right now. Spare yourself from that flood of yours. Or have you not been convinced of that one just yet? You... <sighs> I'm off! Miss Tiori? Go outside and help these customers with their return requests. There's no need to ask them why. We'll refund them at the purchase price. Uh, all right. And once you're done, put up the sign that says we're closed for the day. Got it. Hmm. Chiori. They couldn't be more fabricated if you tried. No need to worry about them. I'm sure they'll go away on their own in a few days. The real goal here is to divert my attention away from Fashion Week. The best response right now is to tune it out and focus on finalizing my designs. If you say so, but Paimon still can't help but worry. The best way to respond to public skepticism is to let your work speak for itself. There will be no doubt about the quality of my work once my new designs are released. The public just has to see it for themselves. Miss Yuri, bad news! Oh, for the love of... Can a woman not get a moment of pace to do her work? Go on. What's the matter now? It's our accessories supplier. They just sent word that they'll no longer be able to supply us during Fashion Week. What? Uh, no accessories? Not even the ones we pre-ordered? Yes, that's what their messenger said. And what about the models we asked them to book for us? I think they'll probably pull out as well. Even the suppliers believe those nasty rumors? <sighs> Is the messenger still here? No, they've already left. So, no accessories means no brooches, no bow ties, things like that? Not just that. It means no gems, ribbons, gold thread, all the elements that lend life and soul to my designs. But if you take those away, does that mean you won't be able to make your designs at all? Aloth. You stay and watch the shop. I'll go talk to the supplier myself. Yeah, and we can vouch for you, too. We'll make sure your supplier knows there's nothing wrong with your clothes. Thank you. In that case, please come with me. Who is it? Venger, it's Chiori. <sighs> We've worked together all these years. The least you could do is allow me a face-to-face -face conversation. <laughs> Straightforward as always, I see. 
You know, there are certain... Conventions people usually follow if they want to seek someone's company. Sending a messenger, for example. And when has following convention ever gotten me anywhere? Why hire a messenger when I can just explain things in person? Hmm. Have you read the papers today? I don't like to waste my time on baseless lies and speculation. Maybe that's something you should consider as well. You're right. I only subscribe to the Steambird, and most days I never even read the others. So, these rumors, the Steambird was the one that published them? No, not at all. They were in some second-rate fashion tabloids. Well then, there you go. Those sort of headlines become old news faster than you can read them. Surely a bit of tabloid drama isn't worth cutting off my supply. <sighs> You would think that, but this time is different. Someone paid off the tabloids to publish the same article at once. They even went so far as to leave a copy in front of every house. That's how I first learned of the rumors. Every house? That means someone must have been planning this for a very long time. It seems your rival really pulled out all the stops this time, Shiori. The article was even published alongside a photo of you. What sort of photo? Uh, a photo of you beating up someone on the street yesterday. Yesterday? Wait, that means... Ugh, Uchair again. Here, I've got a copy. See for yourselves. Behind the scenes, the true Chioria boutique takes shape. Not a fashion house, but a house of lies. Relying on its close ties to the criminal underworld, the Chioria brand employs illegal competitive tactics to come out on top, giving hope to the evildoers among us that wrongdoing can still prevail, provided you conceal it under the guise of fashion and beauty. <sighs> I don't know what happened, and I don't want to comment on things that I didn't see with my own eyes. Still, that photo shows you to be the clear aggressor. Yeah, he was the one who started it, that little... I appreciate you standing up for me, Paimon, but it can't be helped now. That's right. The court of public opinion has already made up its mind. Still... I've got to give your rival high marks for effort. They even dug up the fact that my father once served time in the fortress of Meripede. But that was so long ago. In the world of fashion, your past is like a piece of clothing stained with mud. Once tainted, it can never be washed clean. They claim that most of your clientele are criminals and that those who buy your clothes are just like you. People who silence all dissent with violence. The absurdity. I don't even know which part to laugh at the most. Well, it's no laughing matter. Maybe your clientele are criminals. Maybe they're not. There's even the possibility that they're just people who happen to commit crimes after buying your clothes. But with the way this article combines fact with rumor... Trying to determine the truth is practically an exercise of futility. It's not something people are just going to forget about in a day or two, especially when they've found several people to back up their claims. Venger, are you sure you won't reconsider? If we go through with the show together, we can defeat them fair and square. <laughs> if I were younger, I might have said yes. But I'm no longer that brave young man with nothing to lose. I've got the family business to consider now. I'd be perfectly happy to work with you again after this, but my daughter is manning the store during Fashion Week, and I don't want her implicated in all of this. She doesn't deserve to be swarmed by all that negative publicity. I... understand. Let me offer you a piece of advice, Chiori. For old time's sake. Let this fashion week go. There's always next year. You just need to wait for all of this to blow over. You're free to wait things out, Fenger. I'll make my own choices. 
<laughs> Have you ever thought maybe that attitude of yours is what's gotten you into all this trouble? Have you ever thought maybe this attitude of mine is precisely what paved the way for my success? Well, fair enough. Then I suppose all there's left to say is... Best of luck. As for the models... None of them wanted to be implicated in all of this either. Understood. Take care. <sighs> so, um... What should we do now? Without the accessories, I can no longer use my old designs. How could they do this? They're making things up. The boutique doesn't have anything to do with violent criminals. Can't people tell this is just a bunch of lies? Public opinion has never been about what's true and what's not. It's about echoing the loudest voice in the room. <sighs> I should have seen it from the beginning. Uter knows me too well. Everything that happened yesterday was just a trap. Well, guess all we can do is just head back for now. Traveler! Paimon! Charlotte, what are you doing here? Looking for you, of course. Did you see those fashion tabloids this morning? You mean that sorry excuse for an article? Oh, just thinking about it makes Paimon's blood boil. You too, huh? Whoever wrote that article must have known the Steambird would never print something so defamatory. Unfortunately, not all papers in Fontaine share our same sense of journalistic integrity. Miss Chiori doesn't deserve to suffer all this baseless slander. I was just about to find some people to interview so that I can write an article to refute all those claims. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's people who misrepresent and distort the facts. That's great! With your help, we might be able to get some people back on our side! It's my pleasure. I've met Miss Chiori several times. I know she's not the kind of person that article makes her out to be. She was the one who made the hat and tie for my camera, Monsieur Verite. Speaking of Miss Chiori, do you know where she went? Alof told me you were all together. Uh, she was just here. Uh, maybe she went over there? Let's go check! Oh no, we've lost her! <sighs> Did you hear what all those people were saying? Paimon can't believe they bought all that nonsense! Miss Chiori doesn't often appear in public or give a lot of interviews, so the general public hasn't had a chance to really get to know her. It's also true that her way of dealing with things can be a little... extreme sometimes. It's easy to use that to mislead people who don't know anything else about her. Oh, this is all Uter's fault! Paimon would pick him up and throw him across the room, too, if she could! Wait a second. You don't think Chiori might have gone looking for him, do you? You know, so she can, uh, finish what she started? <laughs> that would only make the situation worse for her. I'm sure Miss Chiori knows that, too. You've got a point. Let's just return to the boutique and see if she's there, then. I laugh, we're back! Oh, who's this? Ah, uh, this is Miss Letitia. She's also here to see Miss Tiori. Oh, you were the one who came to collect the wedding dress yesterday, right? Wait, please don't say you're returning that dress, too. Oh, no, 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 not at all. I'm just here to thank her. In fact, if there's anything I can do to help her out, I'd be more than willing. Ah, so you've come across that article as well. Yeah, you probably don't know this. But after I got engaged, I didn't think I'd be able to wear a Chioria dress on my wedding day. Uh, why? My fiancé owns a small business. It doesn't bring in a lot of mora, but we get by. After he proposed, he took me to Chioria Boutique, and we put down a custom order for a dress. He probably noticed how often I talked about Miss Chiori's clothes and how pretty they were. Being able to wear one of her dresses to my wedding has always been my dream. And then? And then, something happened to the business. And we ran into major Mora problems. We were able to scrounge up enough to pay off our debts, but it left us without the funds to pay for the dress. But 
Didn't Chiori say she was able to make the dress from what was left of the original deposit? Yes. When I came to cancel the order, she asked if something happened, and I told her everything. She heard me out, and then told me not to worry. She assured me that the deposit I paid would be enough for the dress, and that... and that she'd be able to finish making it in time as well. She promised that I'd be able to wear a Chihoria dress on my wedding day. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? I've always known Miss Chiori to be a woman of her word. It is good. It's just... After I went home yesterday, I couldn't help but take out the dress and try it on. My fiancé happened to walk into the room and... And when he saw me, he froze on the spot. Ah, what a shame. He's not supposed to see it until the wedding day. Well, see, that wasn't actually the issue. He's seen a lot of wedding dresses in his time doing business. So as soon as he saw it, he knew for sure that it must have cost far more than what we paid. Huh? So wait, that means... Yeah. Miss Chihori covered all the costs and held nothing back. The fabric, accessories, beading, construction. It was all of the highest quality. Oh. Miss Letitia... I'd really like to use your story for a piece I'm writing about the boutique. Would you mind going on the record? Huh? Well, if it would help Miss Chiori out, I wouldn't mind at all. I think it'd go a long way. Your real experience is more powerful than all those lies combined. Hey, Aloff! Has Chiori come back here since we left? Huh? I thought you were all together. Well, we were. Um, if she didn't come back here, then do you know of any other places she could have gone? Um... Oh, I remember now. There is this one cliff by the sea. Miss Chiori would always go there whenever she was upset. In that case, why don't we split up? I'll continue interviewing Miss Letitia, and you two can go look for Miss Chiori. All right, sounds good. Let's go. There you are, Chiori! Uh huh? Uh, how did you know where I... Uh... I love told you, didn't she? She did. We were just looking for you at the shop and Letitia was there. She wanted to thank you for the dress. So, you see? You don't have to be sad. We'll figure out how to get through this together. Uh, I'm not upset. I just wanted to get some fresh air. Wanna sit here with me? The view's quite stunning. Don't worry. I'll catch you if you fall. All right, don't mind if we do. Well, how does it feel? This place is pretty great. Right? It's quiet and open. And far from the relentless critique from fashion commentators and the media. <sighs> it's just you and the beautiful scenery. Yeah. It's important to take yourself out of that kind of stressful environment every once in a while. <laughs> I didn't grow up in a very strict family. My parents would joke that I grew up to be so assertive because they spoiled me as a child. I would get together with the other children to climb trees and explore caves. One time, I even climbed over the walls of the Kamisato estate. One of the servants had to physically remove me. Whoa, Paimon would have never imagined that! But even as rambunctious as I was, when it came to needlework, I was as quiet and focused as could be. It was as if I discovered a whole new world within those vibrant, dazzling fabrics. You know the feeling? Uh, sorta. My parents noticed, and they sent me to study under a famous Inazuman tailor. It wasn't long before I had driven away pretty much every master tailor on the archipelago. You could say I really tried their patience. You were that misbehaved? I wasn't misbehaved, exactly. I just... often had strange ideas when it came to fashion. Ones that weren't in line with traditional ways of doing things. On top of that... I hated the idea of groveling and making outfits for every arrogant big shot expecting me to be at their beck and call. 
Anyway, a few incidents later, I soon found myself without a master. Worse, not one shop was willing to hire me. Not even to do grunt work. No wonder you left Inazuma. I was angry and frustrated. So, before I left, I swore to all those masters that my brand would one day become renowned all over to that. Well, that's a great dream to strive towards. After that, I came all the way to the Court of Fontaine, a city often referred to as the capital of arts and fashion. I had a lot of fun starting out. Sure, I was living in a small cramped room, but I was finally free to make whatever I wanted. I had a far more naive view of fashion back then. As long as something was pretty, it would become popular, right? A simple concept, surely. Of course, as I spent more and more time in the industry, I learned nothing was ever that simple. Least of all, fashion. Oh, you mean Letitia? Yeah, she did mention that dream. I'll be honest with you. That's the first time I ever heard something like that from one of my customers. Who would have thought? Even as I continue to pursue my dream, my work has also become someone else's. <sighs> All right, that's enough sightseeing for one day. Time to come up with a way out of this mess. Ooh, looks like you've got your game face back! Back? It was never gone to begin with. I did say I wasn't upset, didn't I? Paimon thinks we should look for evidence that Uter wrote that article, and that he hired those treasure hoarders to attack Kirara. Charlotte's already working on an article to address all those nasty rumors so we can publish all our findings in the Steambird once we're done. I don't like duking it out in the press. <sighs> but if Charlotte's thrown her hat in the ring, I won't stop her either. I know where Uter's clothing factory is located, it might be a good place to start looking for some evidence. Sounds good! We'll come with! As for Fashion Week, well, there's always next year, right? So there's no need to be too upset. Huh? When did this become an either-or situation? Find incriminating evidence or participate in Fashion Week. <laughs> I'm doing both. Uh, but your accessories! Didn't you say your designs were unusable without them? Well, it's true that I haven't quite figured out what to do about that, but... To tell you the truth, even here in Fontaine, every time I see the sea, I can't help but remember Inazuma and the vow I made in front of those masters. Thinking about all that, I just... can't bear to take even one step back. <sighs> The sea. Hmm? What did you just say, Chiori? The sea. Seashells, coral. <laughs> I've got it. Uh, got what? Come, let's take a dip, shall we? Uh, Chiori! Wait, hold up! These should be enough, right? Paimon picked all the prettiest ones in this area. Chiori, will these do? Hmm. <laughs> Everything looks great. I've also collected a pretty big batch, so we should have enough. Great! So are we gonna head back now and make some new designs? Yes, but don't forget. We've got more than just the designs to worry about when we get back. Okay, we've got the materials for the accessories. Next... We'll need to use what we have on hand to create some new outfits. You mean we have to start from scratch? Will there be enough time? I should be able to make it. If I skip out on sleep. Oh no, skipping out on sleep is not the answer. Wait, how come this conversation is giving Paimon major deja vu? Gone you? Who's that? A friend of ours who does way too much overtime. Well, anyway, sleep is important. You're not gonna convince Paimon otherwise. <laughs> well, I can't argue with you there. One thing's for sure, though. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make it work. 
All this grit and determination. It reminds me of the first fashion week I ever participated in. What else can we help with? <sighs> Let me see. I suppose all there's left to do is tear up all the outfits currently on display. You got it! Uh, wait, what did you just say? You heard me. Tear them all up. When I went to that first fashion week, I had no savings to speak of. Just a few dozen yards of fabric in a dream. I had to make something work, so I tore up all the clothes that I brought with me from Inazuma, and I used the scraps to make my entries for the show. I used the larger pieces for the base fabric and the smaller pieces for accessories. If it worked back then, why not now? We can also repurpose some of the ready-to-use accessories in the shop as well. But you worked so hard on all these outfits! I know. That's why I refuse to let it all go to waste. I'm not going to let them win. Even if it takes everything I've ever made and more. Um, okay, then... Here goes nothing. No need to be nervous. I won't hold it against you. Of course, if anyone dared to tear up one of my dresses in front of me on a normal day, I'd probably toss them into the sewer. Good job. That should do it. Chiori, are you all right? Sorry for taking so long. I got caught up and... Whoa. What happened to your shop? Who did this? Those monsters. Slandering you in the papers wasn't enough for them, was it? They even sent people to wreck your shop. Give me their names. Since they're all too eager to tear up other people's clothes, I think it's about time the Spina di Rosula returned the favor. Uh, maybe you should calm down a bit first, cause you see, uh... Uh, huh? Ugh, what is this, a soap opera? I was the one who asked the traveler to tear up the outfits. We need all the fabric and accessories we can get. Oh, <laughs> so that's what happened. <laughs> I guess I got a bit ahead of myself just now. <laughs> Back to what you were doing, everyone. You can all just pretend like I didn't say anything. Navia sure is scary when she's angry. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's a false accusation. No one's gonna orchestrate some conspiracy to take down one of my friends and get away with it. You and Chiori are really close. Of course. Everyone knows that Chiori makes the most gorgeous outfits in town. All of the Spina di Rosula's formal wear is custom-tailored here. Now, if only you'd give me the contract for your uniforms as well. <laughs> as if you'd enjoy designing something as boring and formulaic as a uniform. That's why I didn't ask you in the first place, silly. Plus, with how much your intel has helped us out in the past, to the Spina, you're more of an intelligence agency than a fashion boutique. If I had it my way, it would be the other way around. Anyway, we both know why I'm here. Tell me, how can the Spina be of service to you? If it's not too much trouble, can I borrow some skilled hands to help with some simple sewing work? I'll need all the help I can get if I'm going to finish these outfits over the next few days. Oh, no problem. I've got a few of those guys all ready to go. I just knew you wouldn't be intimidated into withdrawing from this year's show. When are you going to get started? I can help with sewing, too. Actually, there's something else I'd like to ask of you. Ask away. I'm all ears. Oh, and Traveler and Paimon, could you help me pass word to Linny and Lynette? I'll need their help as well. I'm done with my interview. Has Miss Chiori made it back yet? Oh! What happened to the boutique? Who did this? Give me names! I'll make sure every last one lands a full feature on the front page of the Steambird tomorrow! Not this again. Lenny, Lynette! Great, you're both here! A moment later and you'd have missed us. We read the article in the papers. We were just about to go find Miss Chiori. She helped design a number of our costumes in the past and even sponsored one of our performances. The time has come, it seems, for us to return the favor. Oh, perfect! She was the one who sent us! In that case, I assume that there's something we can do to help. Just say the word and we'll take care of it. 
Okay, so it's like this. Is that all we'll need to do? Should be a piece of cake for the two of us. I'm glad to hear it. Well then, guess it's about time we go and find some evidence for all the bad stuff uter has been doing, right? Chiori said we shouldn't disturb her over the next couple of days. We can check in with her again once she's done with all the new designs. But the show's in another two days, isn't it? Will she be able to make the deadline? Well, according to her, she wants to first beat Uter fair and square at the show, and then defeat him in the court of public opinion. She said that it'd be like, uh... A two-pronged approach? Courtesy first, confrontation second? Uh, yeah, something like that. Understood. Then we'll have faith in her decision. We'll go make some preparations. See you at the venue in two days. All right, we're counting on you. Okay, then let's also do as Shiori said and meet up with her at Uter's factory in two days. We'll gather the evidence then. Oh, Paimon sure hopes she won't have a hard time making all those new outfits for the show.